Before you attempt to bypass your OBC or onboard computer, make sure that's the problem before you start cutting wires and rerouting stuff. So I would suggest if you even think you don't have a problem with your OBC, your cart's not charging, the first thing to do is try your charger on someone else's cart and char try someone else's charger on your cart. Because if your charger doesn't work on your cart, but it works on somebody else's, that tells you that the problem is with the cart, not the charger. So we want to verify before um, we start taking anything apart because to do the uh, OBC bypass, the final step is you need to buy a different charger because your old charger will no longer work. Well, it'll charge, but it will not turn off. So you're going to end up paying $300, $350 for a new charger at the end of this bypass. So make sure before you even attempt it that your the OBC is bad. Okay, this is a DS cart right here. So the wires that leave the computer OBC and go down to your charge receptacle. Usually they're in a gray flex tube, looks like this, okay? And it could be run on the driver's side or it can be run on the passenger side. It doesn't matter, but it leaves the computer in this gray flexible tubing and the only two wires in it is your number 10 black for your charge receptacle and your small number 18 gray wire for the uh, little yellow fuse holder which is your control. So in this DS cart the tubing is on the passenger side. This is the tubing. You open it up, there's only two wires in there. Let me follow it around. It goes down here. If I can get my hand down in there. Okay, there's the, see there's the gray flexible tubing. You see the two wires, the gray one that goes to the yellow fuse holder and the number 10 black that goes to the charge receptacle fuse. They're the only two wires in this tubing, okay? So you're going to end up cutting this gray wire. We're not going to use this anymore, so just cut it. Or cut it out, tie it up, do whatever you want, but just make sure you cut it. Then, this number 10 black wire, the other end of this ends up at your OBC. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut this black wire way back at the OBC so it'll be long enough so we can reroute it. Because once we cut it, we're going to pull this wire back out of the tubing and then we're going to run it over to your main negative wire. Oh, it's right here. Okay, so don't cut the black wire at this end. You're going to cut it back at the computer. You're going to pull it out of the flex because the flex is, is going to be empty, we're going to throw it away. And then cut it to fit wherever your uh, main negative terminal is, okay? So that's on a DS. On a precedent, um, you're not going to be able to see. You're not going to be able to see. But it's the same deal. you got to get in. This is a newer one, so the stuff's in the back but the charge receptacle is down there. So same thing, you're gonna go back there and you're gonna cut those two wires, the black and the gray. You're gonna pull them out here and you're gonna reroute that black wire long enough to go all the way over to your negative, okay? Now there's, besides that, there's more splicing you have to do on a precedent and we're gonna get into that. But I just wanted to let you know that those are the two wires that are in that flex that we're going to be dealing with, okay? The black number 10 that goes from the computer to the charge receptacle and the gray wire that goes from the computer, okay? Okay, I came back to show you this is a different DS and this gray flexible tubing is running down the driver's sides. That's it right there. It's a lot easier to see. See how it hooks up? It comes to here and got just the two wires in it. Okay, so cut this gray wire right there. Just cut it and tie this little, tie a bow in there. Go to the other end of this, which is back 
behind this computer, cut the number 10 wire, and then pull it out this way. Run it over here to your main negative. In this case, it's here. Cut it, make it shorter, and land it right there. So on this cart, the DS, you're going to get rid of the gray wire. You're going to reroute the black that goes from there to here. And then you're going to deal with a yellow wire that I'm going to tell you about. Okay, hopefully you're to the point now that you've determined that your OBC is bad. You want to bypass it. You realize you need a new charger. If that's the case, you go ahead, like I previously explained, land that number 10 uh, black negative wire from the back of your charge receptacle over to your main neg pack negative terminal on your battery. Go ahead and cut that gray wire out of the system. And what I do, if you have a DS, there's a yellow wire on your solenoid. And that yellow wire is the OBC makes the negative connection to the solenoid. So what you need to do, since you're removing the uh, OBC, you need to reroute this yellow wire. So what I do, I cut the yellow wire, trace it back from the solenoid, cut it off close to the uh, computer, the OBC, or the connector, so it's just flopping. And then I take the piece of gray wire that I just cut out of the system for the um, um, out of for the <laughs> the control of the OBC to the charger. I take that little gray wire, that 18, I butt splice it to the short end of the yellow wire, and I extend the other end of that gray wire over to the main battery negative terminal, the same uh, terminal that you're going to land your number 10 black wire, okay? Because your yellow wire is going to be too short to reach that. And instead of trying to mess around and try to put that yellow wire onto your controller B minus, there's too many wires on there already. So extend that yellow wire. You don't need to buy any wire if you reuse that piece of gray you cut out. Just extend that over to the negative uh, terminal on your pack, your battery pack, the same one that you're running your uh, black number 10 from your charge receptacle to. And that, if you have a DS, that's all you need to do and get you a charger, a bypass charger, and you should be done. Now, if you have a precedent, what you need to do, forget the yellow wire, you don't need to worry about that. What you need to do with the precedent, besides cutting the gray wire out and running the black from the charge receptacle to the battery, what you need to do now is you need to splice two wires, and let me see if I can show you. Okay, I did. What you need to do, this is, a, this is the uh, back of your computer. Okay, so unplug this gray connector. The other end is in your cart. This end's coming from your computer. Unplug them, okay? And then once you unplug them, cut this, cut all these wires about, I cut them about two inches back from here. Anyway, just cut them. And then take this, and I, let me get inside there, I get a little screwdriver, and I pull that green uh, spacer out of there, then I take that small screwdriver, and I pull out the wires, all the wires except for the blue one and the white one. Leave the blue and white wire in this connector. Do not, re, do not uh, change the location. So get that green spacer out, then put your screwdriver in there and, and push down on it and just pull that purple wire out. Do the same thing for the black, red, yellow. That should leave you with a blue and a white wire about two inches long. Now what you want to do is strip the ends of that blue and that white about a half inch, butt splice them together with a butt splice so the blue and the white now make a loop and then just take this now we'll put your spacer back in there after you get the other wires out and you can just take this and plug it right back onto your the uh, female end that's still in your cart and you're good to go now that's what you can do some people instead of doing that they kind of make it funky and they go to the female 
and they cut the blue and the white off the female and they just mid-air splice them back here with it. But you can do that if you want. As long as that white wire and that blue wire are tied to each other, that will complete your bypass and you should be good to go. So just make sure you get a bypass charger and they will say club car bypass or no other charger will work. Okay? Hopefully that will clear up how to do your uh, bypass your OBC. Okay? If it's confusing or you find a weird situation, contact me, call me, email me, text me, and I will walk you through it. Okay? And uh, other than that, thank you for watching. Please subscribe, tell other people about it, me. And uh, yeah, I, I love getting new subscribers, and every day I get um, questions, text, email, and posted. Matter of fact, I'm right now on my computer in my garage. I am answering some questions for a fellow. So, thank you very much. Wayne's Golf Cart Service, Indio, California. <coughs>